Bill Weiss was chosen by God to spend 23 minutes in hell as a non-believer and report to the world of its reality. He also was told about when Jesus would return, next on this edition of It's Supernatural. Can ancient secrets of the supernatural be rediscovered? Do angels exist? Is there life after death? Are healing miracles real? Can you get supernatural help from another dimension? Has the future been written in advance? Sid Roth has spent 30 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid on this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Do you believe in a literal hell? I mean, one where there's suffering and sulfur and torment and demons with pitchforks. Well, a survey was done in America by Barnum, and he found that two-thirds of the people do not believe in a hell with suffering. And as a matter of fact, it's not a popular subject. When was the last time uh, you went to a house of worship and they spoke about hell? Well, God had to take things into his own hands, and he showed a man that has impeccable character, uh, a man that has never been into drugs or alcohol, that has a good marriage, a solid citizen. I even looked at his references, and the former retired chief of police that he's known for decades gave him a character witness. I mean, if I was in Hollywood and casting someone to see hell and come back and report on it, this is the man I would have picked. We went out on the streets to find out if people believe in a hell where they're suffering and sulfur and demons. You'll be amazed at what we found out. No, I don't believe there's a hell. You know, God loves everybody, so he wants everybody to live with him up in heaven. Hell? Sometimes I think hell is on earth with all the random acts of violence and the wars and the terrorism that goes on. I think hell is here. No, I don't believe there's a hell at all. I think that's something that the church made up to control and manipulate people. Everyone's going to go to heaven because God's a good God who loves us all. As long as we live a good life and are good people, we're all going to get to heaven. Yeah, I believe there's a hell. I believe it's a place where people go if they don't ask God to forgive them of their sins. Hello, Sid Roth here with uh, Bill and Annette Weiss. And uh, Bill, before you had, and, and get this, he had a literal guided tour of hell. Before that happened, what did you think about hell? Well, Sid, I never really thought about hell. I've been a Christian for 40 years. This happened 12 years ago, but I never really studied the topic. I had no interest in it. My wife and I never see dark movies or entertain anything evil like that. But I, I knew it was fiery, and that was as much as I knew. So I've learned a lot since then. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take you to that date, November 23rd, 1998. And uh, you go to bed. You get up at what time? Three in the morning? I got up at 3 o'clock just to get a glass of water. How did you know it was 3? I looked at the clock. Okay, you get the glass of water. What happened to you? Suddenly, Sid, I found myself I was being pulled out of my body. I, like This was an out-of-body experience, and I've never had one before. But I was pulled out of my body, and I found myself falling through the air and tumbling down this long tunnel. And I entered into this open cavern area, and I hit the stone floor and I found myself in a prison cell with rough-hewn stone walls and bars. I was actually in a prison, but it looked like a dungeon, filthy, stinking, smoke-filled uh, prison. Did you realize where you were? I was fully awake and cognizant. I was not dreaming. No, I understand, but, but did you know you were in hell? Yes. The heat was far beyond the ability to sustain life, so I knew immediately I was in hell. 
and there were demonic creatures in this cell with me. Uh, they were pacing like a caged animal, real ferocious, vicious demeanor, like no creature I've now, ever now seen. Now, before this, are, were you one prone to visions and uh, th th things like this? No, I've never had a vision before. And like I said, I was fully awake and cognizant. I was actually in this place.